So this question says we need to prove algebraically that 2n plus 1, all squared, minus 2n plus 1 is an even number for all positive integer values of n. Okay, so I'm going to write out what we've got here. So we've got 2n plus 1 squared, subtracting 2n plus 1. Now, what does that equal? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to expand this out and see what we get. So we're going to expand these brackets first. So we're going to have 2n plus 1. I'm going to write it out as two sets of brackets because we know when we've got something squared, that's the same as timesing two things that are the same together. So we've got 2n plus 1 times again, 2n plus 1. And again, we still got this minus 2n plus 1 at the end. Okay, so now to multiply these brackets, we need to multiply every element with each other. Now I like to use a method called FOIL. And this stands for front, outside, inside, last. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. But we're going to use this to remember every combination. So we start with front. So you multiply together both of the starting elements. So we're going to have 2n multiplied by 2n. We're going to add on to that. So now I'm going to do outside. So here we're going to do the front element. And the last element here is so the outside elements. So we've got 2n multiplied by 1. So we're going to add on to that. We've now going to be looking at the inside elements. So the 1 here and the 2n here. So multiplying that together, we got 1 multiplied by 2n. And lastly, the L, so the last elements. So 1 and 1. So plus 1 times 1. And again, we still got this minus 2n plus 1 here. Brilliant. So now I'm going to tidy this up a bit. Um, so this bracket, 2n multiplied by 2n is 4n squared. So we've got the 2 times 2 is 4, n times n is n squared. So in this bracket, we've got 2n, and this bracket, we've got 2n, and we're adding them together. So that's going to give us 4n, and this final bracket is 1 times 1, so it's going to be 1. I'm going to subtract from that here our 2n minus 1. Okay, so we've got 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. And we're subtracting all of this in brackets. So essentially what this means is I'm going to write something out here. We're going to have plus minus 1 times by this. That's essentially what it means. So we're going to have plus. If we do minus 1 times this bracket, we're going to multiply each element in the bracket by minus 1. So 2 times minus 1 is going to be minus 2n. I'm sorry, here is actually supposed to be a plus because I copied it down wrong. So we can see here it's plus 1 and plus 1. So we're going to have minus 1 multiplied by positive 1, which is negative 1. So we have that here. So if I write that out neatly, we've got 4n squared plus 4n plus 1 minus 2n minus 1. So I'm going to collect like terms together. So essentially that means we've got a 4n here and a minus 2n here. So we can collect them together. We can have 4n minus 2n, leaving us with positive 2n. Then we've got our constants here. So we've got 1 and minus 1. So combining them together, doing 1 minus 1, we get 0. So we're left with this. Okay, so that's brilliant because we have got down from this, which looks really quite complicated. We expanded it out and simplified it to get down to this, which is much easier to work with. So I'm going to use this to show that it's always an even number. So I'm just going to have a think about uh, properties of even numbers. So I'm going to write some out. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And now we know that all even numbers are divisible by 2. That's what makes them even, which means every even number can be written as 2 multiplied by something. So here we've got 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5. Essentially, what I'm showing here through some examples of even numbers is that even numbers are divisible by 2. So a fancy way of saying that is that all even numbers have a factor of 2. So essentially, they can be written as 2 multiplied by something. So we're going to use this fact for showing that this is always even. So we've got 4n squared plus 2m. And we see that both um, these here, the coefficients are even. So we've got 4 and 2. So we can take out a factor of 2. So I can write 2. Then in brackets, we're going to be left with 2n squared plus n. We see this is true because if we go the other way and multiply the 2 into the brackets, we're going to have 4n squared and 2n. So we can do this. 
So essentially, we've shown this always even because we've written it as 2 multiplied by something. So I'm just going to write a bit of a conclusion to the proof. So since 2 is a factor, which we've shown here, it is even for all positive integer values of n. And we completed the proof there. So we get one mark uh, for correctly um, starting to go through the process of expanding the brackets. We got a second mark for getting through that process correctly and getting down to 4n squared plus 2n. We got our third mark for a convincing conclusion. So in this case, showing um, that 2 is a factor and explaining that here.